How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I want to quickly show you how to replace the aluminum cladding or trim that covers your fascia board. Now you might have an instance like mine where I removed an aluminum awning and I just need to patch that back in or maybe a storm came through and a piece popped off your fascia board and you just need to patch that up. One thing, if it did pop out, make sure you grab that piece and keep it for later because then you hopefully will be able to salvage that and just patch it back in. But if you're like me and need to cut a new piece from a roll, I'm gonna show you how to do that coming up next. So first up, I'm just gonna remove these two pieces that are cut, that were cut around the awning by just removing a couple nails and then I'll use that later on for reference on the measurements. Parts and tools. So the parts you need, 10 foot by 10 inch flashing roll. It has two sides, brown and white and then inch and a quarter white stainless steel trim nails, some tin snips, and then this is key, this is a 12 inch metal folding tool or, or a handheld metal brake. That's gonna be key for, to fold that bottom edge that will hold in your soffit once you get everything installed. So now taking those two lengths, I'll get my length of the piece I need to cut, which is 75 inches. And then the width is the flat surface and also the bend, which the bend is one inch. So my total width was six inches. So I'll mark it at 75 inches, take a straight edge, mark my line, and then cut it with 10 snips. Now once I have it to length, I need to get my six inches of width all the way down the 75 inches. So I'll do multiple marks, take the scrap piece, use it as a straight edge, and then with the Sharpie, I'll mark my cut line. Now once I got that, I'll just trim that up with the tin snips. Now be careful, this is sharp, so have gloves and take your time. Now with that, now it's time to do the one inch bend with the folding tool. You'll need to do multiple smaller bends to get up to your 90 degree angle. Don't try to do it all at once or it will make for a bad finished product. And remember to bend it the correct direction, right? So I'm bending it on the brown side so the white surface will show through and be the correct direction. So it looks good. So taking that piece, I'm going to go under the old piece on the right-hand side and over the old piece on the left-hand side. And then make sure your soffit is tucked under that lip. And once you have that set in place, I'm going to take the white stainless steel inch and a quarter nails ditch my glove so I can actually handle the nails and then start placing nails about every two foot or so. Really you don't need many to get it to hold. I will put close to the end here to make sure that those two lips don't get caught by the wind later on and it's secure for years to come. All right, guys, so that is it. So whether you're patching in something like I did where it's cut around an awning or maybe something else that was installed over the years that you removed or uh, storm damage would be more common, that's how you replace it. It's a fairly easy fix. And because you, we don't have the large break that professionals have, getting a 12 inch or an 18 inch break that you'll find in the ductwork section of your home improvement store or down in the description, I'll show you the one that I used. That's gonna be your best bet and it's gonna come in handy for future projects as well. But before you take off, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as we have weekly videos coming out to help you with your repairs and improvements around your house and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.